good day. My name is Shion Olabode. By God's grace, I am the president of Agape Films International. I would like to appreciate you personally for always watching our films. It's nice to have you as our fans. Thank you. God bless you. Also, I would like to call your attention to something very important. You see, Agape Films International intend to produce 30 soul winning films in two years, and we would like you to support us. Producing these movies will require a whole lot of things from us. We need good cameras, laptops, location boards, lights, and so on. In case you are here and you want to support us, you want to be among the soul winning movies so us i would like you to use the account detail that is scrolling on the screen thank you very much i would also like to tell you in case you want to watch other of our films you can just go to facebook or youtube and search for agape films international thank you once again it is nice having you as our fans god bless you Stop. It is a long story. <clears throat> I'll make it brief. Okay. I used to be a manizer. A drunkard. But one day, I met a brother who preached to me. And I accepted Christ. But then I discovered that I still have a problem. The problem is my father. Thank you, Jesus. Where are you coming from? Uh, today is Tuesday. I went for Bible studies. Now, listen to me. Let this be the last time you go to church again. Oh, Daddy, have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Hmm. Try me.
Didn't I tell you not to go to church again? Daddy, daddy, didn't I? From church. Daddy, didn't daddy, I? Daddy, daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, 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 I will not go I'm going to skin you alive. Trust me. I will Trust kill you for disobeying me. I will not go to kill you. Come back here. Come back. Come back here. Stop. 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 La palama ma senda ya basso, le bolika senda ya baba, la lika senda ya bon, ma lika senda, le bol le po senda ba, ye le pe se ma la kaza ba, ma lika senda ya bon baba, le senda ya ba, la pasta kati ya baba, le pasta. I am your father, and what I want is what you must also want. What I believe is what you must believe. There is no God anywhere. Neither is there any Jesus anywhere. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> but what's his reason for doing all this? The Bible says, the fool says in his heart, that there is no God. My father is a fool. <laughs> he does not believe in God. Not to talk of accepting Christ. <laughs> okay, what do you intend to do now? I have to do my father's wish. Else, he will kill me one day. <laughs> but you just said, he's a fool. Do you know what you are saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Brotope, you need to calm down. Listen. Although you might have suffered a lot from your dad, which is true, but you still need to hold on to your conviction. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? The who can be your father? The who can be your mother? The who can even be your friend? But presently, the who is your father. You have to hold on to Christ. You must not let your father separate you from the love of Christ. I'm sorry, Pastor. I have to do my father's wish. What? I have to go back to my old ways. Brotope! Brotope!
Aha! Uh -huh. This is my reason. <laughs> he is drunk. That is what I'm talking about. This is my reason. Not the one that is always claiming that he has given his life to one Jesus. Enjoy your life. And I took your step, Bartos. Then, Bartos. Only then, but Bartos. Daddy. Allowing him to serve his Jesus. After all, when he was serving his Jesus, he didn't fall down and die. But I frustrated him until he left his Jesus and came back to his old way. Now his old way has killed him. Huh? I think there is a security in his Jesus. Yes, I think so. Hello, Pastor. Yes, sir. This is Tokwe's father. The young man who died three days ago. Sir, I actually got your contact from Tokwe's phone. Uh, Pastor, please, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to give my life to Jesus. Okay, sir. Ah. I need your power. I receive power. Oh Jesus. I receive power in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire. Power. Power, power in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power. Next Mr. Kolade? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I called you on phone to ask you some few questions that have been bothering my mind. If you don't mind, hope I can ask. No problem, sir. Hope you won't be offended. No problem, sir. I'm aware of everything you made your son go through while he was alive, which exerted pressure upon him. And to the extent of denouncing his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ which made him to go back to his old ways to the point of death so if I may ask Mr. Kolade 
Why did you choose to give your life to Jesus Christ after the death of your son? Pastor, actually, my greatest regret in life is that I frustrated my son to stop serving God and which led to his death. Though I did it out of ignorance. But because then I used to think there is no God. But after his death, I realized that there is God. And that was why I called you on the phone. That I want to give my life to Jesus. But sir, I think my late son did not know the God he was serving. Because no matter what I did to him, he should have hold on to his faith. He shouldn't have backslide. But I pray that God will have mercy on him. What a great love. This pastor, can I go now? Yes, sir. You can go. Thank you so much, sir. He said he did not know the God he was serving. He did not know the God he was serving. Looking at the movie very well, you will discover that it was his father who separated him from the love he has for Christ. Now, the Bible asks a simple question in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate you? Is it your father? Your mother? Your sister? Your brother? Your uncle? Your boyfriend? Your girlfriend? Your fiance? Fiance? Who will separate you? Please, I would like to encourage you, don't allow anybody to separate you from the love you have for Christ. And in case you have been separated from Christ, I would like to tell you to go back to Christ. Jesus still loves and cares for you. All you need to do is just to ask for forgiveness of sin. And in case you are also watching or listening to me right now, I would like you to also give your life to Jesus. Jesus loves you too. He cares for you. And all you need to do is to believe in your heart that he is your Lord and Savior and accept him by confessing with your mouth. Now, if you're ready, I would like you to say this word of prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive my sins. Cancel my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father, for accepting me. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. In case you've just given your life to Jesus, I would like you to look for a Bible believing church and begin to attend. If you don't have a Bible, please get a Bible and begin to study. God bless you. Thank you. Love you. Bye.